Hey you guys, it's Bray tonight. We're here to talk about a new set of garbage. I figured it was time to unpack a few topics that don't deserve their own videos. Check the playlist if you have no clue what this series is about, but I cover multiple different things that in my opinion don't really deserve their own um, dedicated video and just toss it in the garbage bin and we talk about it. So if you're interested, please keep watching. Alright you guys, so at the top of the list, let's talk about the most garbage person that I can think of, you know, right up there with the most toxic creators that should be cancelled for good reason and they still somehow continue to just have nine lives. James Charles posted this video a few days ago. It has 5.2 million views. I will play the video with no sound because I don't want to have issues with that. Um, just don't really have the patience right now. But he posts this video and he hikes his sweatpants down and does this dance. This video has 5.2 million views, almost 3,900 comments, and people are complimenting. Unironically, this wasn't bad at all. Honestly, this is the best I've ever seen you dance. You kind of ate that up, sister. You kind of ate this. Post this on IG. Yes, girl. Even if people are being facetious in these comments by leaving positive feedback, by leaving comments, whether they're good, bad, or indifferent, snarky, not snarky, whatever, by engaging with James Charles on social media, you are keeping a predator relevant on social media and you are allowing this monstrous of a person to continue to build his bottom line and continue to not have to do anything but shake his ass on the camera and i think that this is again another subset of what is wrong with social media what is wrong with people where we can literally have people like James Charles exposed, fully exposed for being creepy, inappropriate, gross, weird, whatever. And he can come back and hike his sweatpants down and shake his ass in the camera and get, what did I say, 5.2 million views on a video, which means a lot of money for James. I've had quite a few people during my time on YouTube say, oh, well, you're, you know, you're trying to cancel so-and-so, you're trying to cancel this, you're trying to cancel that. Typically, I'm just providing commentary on what's happening. But there are a few people that I would like to see cancel culture work against, um, and that would be James Charles. People like James Charles, Colleen Ballinger, um, a lot of these big family vloggers, if you are actually endangering people with the content that you're making, then you should be canceled. I'll still call it accountability culture, but if you're making a lot of money on social media and then you're not making that money on social media, I call that accountability. You can call it canceled, you can call it exposed, you can call it whatever. Um, but there are some people that simply do not deserve the platform that they are standing on. James Charles is one of them. So next, let's move over to Kylie Choi. And her uh, TikTok profile says, sharing my vulnerable mom moments so we can all become better moms than yesterday. I will give you a spoiler. Kylie is not trying to be a better mom than she was yesterday. Kylie is somebody who went to Disney and decided to make a video saying, hey, I'm at Disney. Somebody stole my Stanley Cup. I hope that you enjoy the um, germs that my child put onto my Stanley Cup that now you are exposed to. It's got uh, my daughter's <laughs> contagious impetigo germs. Her child has something called impetigo and she decides to not only put out the original video but then she comes back and like a lot of other people 
um, she has tried to double down and still say that she is right for literally um, having her child out in a very public space when this could have been rescheduled, this could have been changed so that you are not putting other people at risk and then coming on TikTok and gloating how somebody stole your Stanley, but you hope that they enjoy your child's germs. What a weird video to even think, film, edit, post, and then get mad when people called you out. Hi guys, I thought I would spread some awareness and some education in case you guys didn't know, because it seems like a lot of you don't know. My last video was taken down by TikTok for violating community guidelines, which I don't know what I did. But anyway, um, Impetigo, I'm a nurse, my husband's a physician. Impetigo actually stops being contagious 48 hours after you start your oral antibiotics. And on the bottom one, actually, it says 24 hours after you start your oral antibiotics. My daughter has been on cephalexin oral suspension for more than four days which is well over 48 hours it's over 72 hours so for all you mamas that were really concerned and are sending us hate messages on instagram and on tiktok um i just thought maybe i would let you guys know that this is true and that maybe you guys didn't know that so when i said i hope the thief gets in the tigo from sucking on our straw unfortunately they won't because she's not contagious anymore yeah my daughter's contagious in Patigo jerk so of course i'll include her other video that she put out her child is screaming in the background um but the comments are full of people saying um you said it so you're the one who claimed it was contagious but even if it wasn't why not wait until after your child wasn't feeling sick to go to disney she probably wanted to be home napping lots of comments along the same um that, that basically delivered the same message. The comments did not disappoint. I see the panic in her eyes. You said it, you said it, you said it, you said it. Baby girl, you said it. You said it though, ma'am. Girl, you said it, you said it, you said it. It's just full of you said it. So either way, that's the catastrophe with this girl, Kylie. I, I think that she's like a lot of other people. I doubt that she will um, you know, take her loss on the chin and kind of move on. Highly unlikely, but I will keep an eye out for an update. All right, so to close out this episode of Garbage, we need to talk about Campbell Puckett. You might know her as Pookie from Pookie and Jet. They are very popular on TikTok. They went viral about... I don't know, it was like over the winter time when I first started seeing a lot of their content on my For You page and it would basically be an outfit of the day with him and her and he would really hype her up and give her the sweetest compliments and, you know, it was endearing initially. Then they went viral, they really got to this point of just being like super well known, like people were making parodies, people were using their sound and I don't follow them actively because to be quite honest, um, their salary and their budget for everything is way outside of mine. So I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, I wish I had that. I wish I had that. It's just not my cup of tea. But they recently, and they seem to be, and for what it's worth, I know that things on social media are not always what they seem. But they seem to be genuinely a happy couple that just so happened to go viral. They have a very loyal fan base, just like a lot of other creators. Um, just a couple of days ago, they shared that they are expecting their first child. What I want to say first is congrats. That's amazing. I'm so happy for them. Secondly, what I would like to say is I fear that this child is going to be integrated into content and they are going to segue from uber wealthy influencer couple to uber wealthy family vlogging couple and integrate this child into their content because that's just what they do and they have a lot of people that really really enjoy seeing them that is my fear what my hope is, is that they protect this child at all costs. The reason that I have concerns about that is because they are already using the pregnancy constantly in content. They shared this video that has 
oddly enough, 5.2 million views, just like that James Charles video had at the beginning of the video. But it's a really sweet video, and it's announcing that um, she is due in November. And there's another video that was just posted. Um, basically, you know, Jet is giving Pookie a gift. Pregnant Pookie, pregnant Pookie. And this seems very innocent at surface level. But I really worry about the transition that their content might end up taking. All right, pregnant Pookie has been in South of France on a girl's trip for the last seven days. I am so excited for her to be home and I want to know how much I missed her. Uh, pregnant Pookie, you can open your eyes. I cannot wait for the rest of our life together and I cannot wait for our child. shows you what's going to go on the back of the bag. So they're going to make a custom monogram for you on the back. It's going to say Pookie on it. It's the best ever. I love you as you're This is too much. So cute. It really is. So I Pookie. look like a hot mess, but this bag makes me look better. <laughs> it's so good. It is, I don't have anything like this. Yeah. Well, there's never, there's never been a bag like it. This is... The perfect print for us because it's Paris. That's way perfect. Thank you so much. I really hope that they both realize the dangers of family vlogging and putting your child and all of your child's info out onto social media. They both seem like intelligent people. So I hope that they continue to share their lives as adults. But I do hope that once the baby comes, this child is protected because I know a lot of their fans are going to just be foaming at the mouth to see this child and, you know, videos and TikToks and all of this kind of stuff. And I hope that they have it in them to lay down a very clear boundary to say, we are on social media, our child is not, and we are gonna choose to protect our child. And I just don't know if that's gonna happen, but of course I will be keeping an eye out Fingers crossed, but how do you feel? How do you feel about Pookie and Jet? Do you know of them? Do you not know of them? And how do you feel about couples that are very relevant and get a lot of engagement on their videos announcing something like this and making the segue into being family vloggers? We've seen it happen before. I really hope that they don't do this, but we'll just have to wait and see. But either way, that's going to be it for tonight. So if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.